Wanna be the strongest player in Blocks Roots and show the other people what the real power is? So, welcome to our gym, where I can teach you how to be the strongest fighter in the town, but you need to listen very careful. You got it? So then, I'll show you how to obtain the greatest sword. Um, uh, <coughs> pardon, swords in the game. And for free, of course. We're gonna talk about Cursed Duel Katana. In the wiki they say sword actually, but there are two swords. Alright, I don't know, just forget it. Okay boys, let's start from requirements, because they exist of course, it blocks fruits, you know? To get Cursed Bill Katana you need to solve the puzzle, but to start it, you need to unlock the puzzle. How? So, the first requirement is to have Yama and Toshida sword with 350 mastery on each. How to get those swords? I already mentioned in my previous video, so I strongly recommend you watch it. Link in description or here in the corner, just click it. Of course watch it if you don't have these swords, because Lil Katana is Yama and Toshida together, so without them you cannot start the quest as I say. Next, to start the quest you need to be level 2200, so check your level before doing that. And that's all you need to start the quest, so let's go solve the puzzle. If you have all requirements, you need to go to the Florentoral Island, Next, go outside and behind that mansion you'll find the stone building. On the left side of that building you'll find the NPC Creep Master, which can give you the dual katana puzzle. So all you need to do is speak to him and after that easy in-game manipulation you head to another side of that tower and here you'll find the entrance to that creep or something like that. I don't know what it's called. I have bad English, okay? So, Katana or Katanis. God damn, why is so hard? So, my boys, here you'll we'll find two ancient scrolls, which represent Yama and Toshira swords. Every scroll has three quests to complete. So, all we need to do is complete all the quests, of course. Let's start from Yama scroll. They're not so hard, but some time consuming. <clears throat> Can I say that? I don't know. Alright, anyway, I mean you'll spend so much time to complete those. Uh, I spend around 3 days or something. Yeah, that's a lot. By the way guys, you can get free doll fruit. How? Just subscribe, like this video and write the comment. Then go to my Discord server, link in description and join giveaway for that fruit. Pain and suffering. This trail is so easy, all you need to do is to take heavy damage like 10k or something or just die from a ghost in PC with Yama in your hands. But actually that's not work for me, I just died and nothing happened. But you can try to find the NPC and take from him the required amount of damage. Until you don't get the message, then you obtain the Alucard fragment. Oh guys, I forget to say that you can easily leave the game after completing every trial. Your progress will be saved, but make sure don't leave while you're doing the quest, because in that way you will lose the current trial and you have to start it again. Haze of Misery that quest is so annoying, but quite simple. All you need to do is to find NPCs with the purple dot and kill them on almost every island. So simple, yeah? Yeah. But Haze is not only the name. After you confirm the quest, fog will appear, like in the Mirage Island, and you will not see anything. But don't worry about it, you can easily beat this quest. So honestly, there is no description to that quest and no guidance to pass it. But when I did this, I found interesting tips that may help you. So you need to check every group of NPC on every island with poor visibility. And that's the only problem. How can you solve this? First, you can ask your friends or guys from our Discord if you don't have friends, link in description. Second, you can use the portal to simply move through the islands. That's not a bad tip, but in future you will suck in boss fighting, so you can need Buddha afterwards or don't use the portal or find a friend with that fruit. And the third tip, use Buddha like me, because you need to fight a lot and you cannot die. And I don't know what it will be on other devices, but on my PC I saw decently the silhouettes of the islands. Like here, did you see that island? Can you recognize it? 
Yeah, so do I. But anyway, you'll have so much time for that, so don't rush, you can beat it. Oh, and the last tip. If you see an NPC with a purple dot on him, you need to kill only two of the same NPC, and you have to go to the next group. I don't know, but as you can see, in my situation, the purple dot just disappeared after killing two NPCs. Maybe it's random, I don't know. You can just check it and write it in the comments. Fear the Reaper. That's such a time consuming trial and you can spend a lot of time doing that, but that's not so hard actually. So now we're going to the Helm Castle. What is this trial about? Y you just need to die from the Soul Reaper boss and that's it. Sounds really easy, but a big but. You need to summon that boss first. And that's a real problem. To summon the Reaper, you need the Hallow Essence, and that shit you will find so long. Honestly, guys, I hate random things in Blocks Rose while you're doing the quests. That's so annoying and not fair for players. You cannot beat quests by your own skills. You just need to wait all the time and grind so much. Ooh, I hate this. Of course, I love Blocks Rose, but those random things. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so to get these essence, you need to collect bones that you can exchange to Death King in the graveyard location for the random prizes. And with this small chance, you can get that stupid Hallow Essence to summon the Reaper. By the way, I spent around 2k bones to get this. Uh, okay, where to find those bones? Underground Dimension. They're an NPC called Processed Mummies or something like that. And from those boys or things, will drop from 4 to 5 bones with 25% chains and when you collect 500 bones you can go and exchange those by the way you can only exchange 10 times in two hours it's 500 bones as i said after you get the hello essence you need to touch it here and then you will summon the reaper and after that you need to go to the mansion to the upper side and you will find this boss if you play with friends you can deal damage to boss to yellow health bar and then let the reaper kill you doing that you can get a reward from the boss after you die from the reaper you will be teleported to hell and here starts the last trial of Yama. You just have to light up all the torches there and then kill all NPC in that location. Then go to the gate and you will finish the last Yama scroll trial. By the way, in the last trial you need the Buddha to easily pass this quest. Oh, that was so hard, right? Write in the comments how much time did you spend for those trials. I spent around 3 or 4 days. Okay, there's no time to relax, we need to go next. The second scroll to Shira. And actually, they're much easier than Yama's trials. Dark Legend Okay, now it's time to relax. All you need to do here is to speak to each bot dealer in 3 islands and select Pardon Me when on the last dialogue page. Easy! Sense of duty. Here you need to wait or find the pirate raid on the castle on the sea and just kill one of two pirates. And when the raid ends, you will have another fragment. Soulless. The last trail. Ooh, you're all not there. All you need to do is defeat K Queen before the music ends. Music starts when you first hit her. And after that, you have around 2 minutes to defeat her. When she dies, you will be teleported to heaven. Where you need to do the same is in the hell location. Light up all torches and defeat all enemies. I hope you have Buddha, my friend. When you finish it, you will be teleported to the crypt and you need to interact with the center stand to unlock the last boss that you need to defeat. But you can deal damage only with Yama in your hands, so don't forget to grab it. And after that, you will get the cursed little katana.